Hey, Dark Sky here, and today we are playing Valheim. It's one of my uh, oldies, but goodies. And uh, so uh, we're going to get into this. It's uh, you're a Viking. You're trying to uh, get to Valhalla. You come to this land. I guess this land is called Valheim. And uh, you are trying to take out the uh, the bosses of the land and try to become more stronger so that you can you can die with uh, with honor and go to Valhalla and meet your patrons or whatever. So let's get into this. Let's start this. So we're gonna hit start game here, and I have a uh, my little warrior here. He's already set up. I gave him the uh, you know some tan skin there, so he looked like he's seen the sun a little bit. Uh, very Viking related uh, beard there, you know. Uh, kind of the wise Viking of the uh, North, if you will. And uh, looks like he's ready. He's ready to like tackle this land and uh, and make it his own. So let's do this. Long ago, the All-Father Odin united the world. He threw down his foes and cast them in the 10th world. He then split the bowels which held their prison to the world tree and left it to adrift, unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, his world slumbered uneasily but did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the kings. When the Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent the Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest warriors to be on the world and be born again in Valheim. All right. Here we are flying on the uh, the great bird. The great raven. We're, uh, we're going to drop down here sooner or later on the... Uh, on on Valheim itself. I like the uh, the colors on the bird. You can see like the gold there and red tipped wings, almost like blood on the end of its wings. Rain dripping off the uh, the feathers. Outstanding. All right, here we're coming in for a landing and we hit the ground, bam. Yeah. And we are born. I'm Hugin. I'm sent here to guide you on your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the forsaken which must be slain in order to ascend to Valhalla. So these uh, these stones here, what we do is we uh, we have to fight um, like what is it? Kind of like a god of each biome. And then once we fight those uh, those gods, then we uh, we we uh we put their essence on these uh on these hooks and uh and then we can use their powers to become stronger better uh to fight our next foe so uh this is he's going to probably tell us that uh these magical stones scattered throughout the lands are odin signposts to uh pointing towards the uh, ritual grounds of forsaken so we can click here and we can see that we're right here. Oh, that's where we came on the bird. Huh. Okay. Well, the bird already helped us on some of our little mini map here. Uh, you can see that the, uh, the boss of this land or whatever happens to be right near the water. So that's good. So it's not actually too far away. So what we need to do now is we need to find some berries. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to um, we need to craft some uh, weapons, some armor. Well, not armor. What do we need? Armor region. But in the beginning, I need to find myself a nice little plot of land that I can call my own. Uh, you saw that the uh, bird carried us across that, so he kind of showed us already that there's a, uh, a piece of land on the other side of the water there. And the more you use your skills, the more your skills will increase, like they just did, like for me there. So, uh, let's see here. What we're going to need to do, we don't need flint. We need stone, so we need lots of stone. So we got to sit here and kind of look at the ground. And oops, we 
find stone like this. There we go. We found quite a bit of stone. So let's get as much stone as we can possibly uh, carry because we're going to need it for building. All right, so we should have enough stone now. Now we need to find like a really good place for our base, you know. I'm thinking it'd be nice to have like, say, I want to make kind of like, a lot of people go with like just a giant base or or like almost like a castle, if you will. But you know what? I'm thinking I want what I want to do. I want to build a kind of base where uh, your house is like is on an island and you have to walk across a bridge. And on the other side of the bridge is the rest of like all the shops and stuff that you'd be working with and whatnot. So. I think that'll be pretty cool. So I just need to find something where it has an island on it. Uh, now this is one of the sacrificial areas. We do not have. Uh, yep, we found the summoning place for this forsaken. Okay, I think we found a pretty good spot here. What we're gonna call base, but uh, it happens to be nighttime. So I think what we're gonna do is hopefully not get attacked by those guys anymore. And we're going to uh, kind of set up like a temporary base here, if you will. And so I was waiting for this guy to come back, but he doesn't seem like he wants to come back. He got hit by once by me and said, uh, you know, I think there's somewhere else I'd rather be. So there's a little uh, temporary structure here. So I'm thinking maybe using this little temporary structure just for the time being. Uh, let's, uh, let's set up a, um, let's do three, we'll set up a, uh, a little table inside here. That should be good. Let's see if we can use it. Yes, we can. So we can fix all of our stuff, so that's good. So now what we're gonna do, uh, let's kind of fix the place up a little bit, huh? And hopefully get rid of this guy out of my house. You got dirty feet, I, you don't need to be in here. Okay, so let's see here, three, and I wanna put in, obviously, uh, let's put a door in. I can't tell from that angle, it's too dark. So right there, that looks like a nice door. We'll go in. It's a... Uh, let's uh, repair the place up a little bit. that and uh, let's see we got it all nicely repaired now uh, let's put a roof on here gotta be able to see the roof there we go there we are I got a nice roof and I'm thinking uh, let's see what do we got outside here Oh, it's, yeah, it has enough uh, area here. So let's cut this out. Cut it out. <laughs> so we'll cut that out of there. And let's see, I need a torch or something because it is darker and snot. Apparently I can't have... All right. How does that look? I can't see. Uh, that looks all right. I can work with that. All right, so now let's put in the wall. So I'm thinking maybe put a wall in. Yeah, let's put a wall in right there. 
And I'm going to have this wall go out. So this is going to be my fire pit right here. Going to be on a bit of a slant, but you know, it is what it is. Oh man, that's horrible. Is that better? That's better. Okay, and then I need to put something to fill in this little area here. That stick in there. Now, mind you, this is just for like temporary housing. It's not going to be full on, you know, the uh, the Marriott or anything. Just until we get our place all nicely built. Doesn't help that it's just complete darkness. I mean, we, we should have done this at night or not at night. We should have done this at daytime, not night. Okay, so we got that. Now let's put on the slant so we can force the smoke away from the house. Like so, and I don't know, probably need one of these. Well, let's get the fire in there so we can see what we're doing. Goodness, it's like so dark. So oh, there we go. Now we got a fire. You know, it's not too bad. I mean, it is what it is. It's a temporary housing area, so. It's, yeah, let's just put that there. I, I can't tell if it's like, you know, lined up or not, but I'm not worried about it. We'll make our actual house all nice lined up. Oh, is the smoke coming inside? Yeah, darn it. Smoke's coming inside. So what we need to do is be able to get around the house here. Goodness. House is like right on the edge. So let's see. Let's uh, take out this wall here. And I'm thinking maybe put in like a half wall instead. So uh, let's see. We got a half wall here. Keep sliding down here. Falling into the drink. Oh, get out of the drink, buddy. Okay, eat something. We can get out of this drink. There we go. Ah, climb, climb. All right. Doesn't help this house is like right on the edge of a cliff. All right, so there we go. Now we got this. And we don't seem to be getting smoke inside the house, so that's good. Uh, can we put, put a barrier down there? Oh, we can. There we go. Let's do that. There we go. A nice little pit now. It's too bad it's not burning up the bushes and stuff there, huh? Okay, so we got a little little house, and let's uh, repair the floors a little bit better. There we go. Looks all right. I think we can call this home now. Okay, so I don't know um, if it's day, night, or what's going on outside. But I'm thinking what we want to do is now that we got this little house, uh, maybe what we should do is put up like a uh, nice little bed. And we can put it right here. It's going to be very, very close. Uh, but that's okay. So we'll claim that just as our spawn point. Let's see. Are we asleep? No, it can't sleep at this time. So it must be daytime outside. So we'll fix our stuff. Oh, go outside. This is very temporary. <laughs> very, very temporary. It's just enough for us to get, to, you know, to have a a place we can call home and and go from there. So let's get our axe out now. Now that we have this little 
temporary housing area. What I was thinking is I'd like to put in a house over here. Right on the other side of the stream. And then I'm going to have a little bridge that goes over here and then back in this area. Um, probably put in uh, my little city, you know, that I was thinking about doing. And on that river right there is where I'm going to put, you know, an area for like our boat. So, uh, yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll look nice. Darn you, go away. Your kind isn't unneeded here. Okay, yeah, let's cut down this tree here. Make some room for our uh, our big old house we're gonna have. In two trees at once. Oh, I like it when they do that. Oh, not when they come towards me though. All right, so we we'll chop this down. Get us some some limbs. Get us some uh, wood, and we'll start building our house. Oh, run, run, Forrest. <laughs> no, don't run, Forrest. Me run. Okay, well, that white tree that we knocked down, it takes like a little bit of a higher end uh, axe to be able to, uh, um, to break it apart. It's too too strong for us. So uh, yeah, that'll be something that we'll have to put on our docket for later. And it looks like I'm full because I'm just leaving the the wood laying on the ground now as I run over it. So let's start like uh, working on our house, I suppose, huh? Now, this is going to be nice right here because we're gonna we're gonna need a lot of uh, rock later on. So this will be nice. To have this nice piece of rock right there next to us. And it looks like we have a nice big old piece of rock. Oh, we got some mushrooms here. Nice. Oh, of course, I can't pick them up. And then we got a nice, nice big rock right here, too. And some there. So we're, we're doing all right. We got things going. So I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to cut out... Maybe you just cut out like these three trees. Might be a good spot to start. We're gonna need the wood anyways, so it's not like we're gonna, these are gonna be wasted. Unless they fall in the ocean, then, well, I ain't going swimming. Can't really swim in this game, because you need stamina, and so. Oh, uh, you gotta love it when trees do that, because these trees are, like, super dangerous. If they fall on you, um, they can either damage you or just kill you straight outright, so. You gotta watch out for the trees. They're almost as bad as the enemy. Just dig up these stumps here. Get rid of this guy. All right, so I'm thinking I want to bring the house probably like right through here. Right through this way, be a nice way to have the house set up. So I'll probably get rid of this tree here and, and stump. And then I think we should be all right. Oops, there, my axe just broke. So this is where it comes in handy to have this little temporary structure. Right there. Okay, so fix our axe, go back to it, go back to work.
So what I was thinking, I was thinking like right here, right? So let's cut that. Ooh, ooh, watch out. Trees falling from ahead. Oh, so much craziness going on. <laughs> that was almost too close. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got a good spot here. Um, can I move this tree away? Keep going, keep going. There we go. Okay, so I'm thinking right through here where all the trees are all sparkly and stuff, I think is a great spot for our new base. Uh, we're going to need to set up a, uh, a table first. So let's put the table like right over here somewhere. Like right there. There's a good spot. Now we can pick up some wood because that table uses wood. All right, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a building and let's put the building in like right here. So I'm thinking maybe just start it like right about eh, here, I guess. That looks like a good spot as any. And then I'm gonna put the fire pit like right here. So that'll, that'll look nice. And nice as I, as I put, make make a uh a piece of the building i pick up some wood off the ground automatically so that makes me kind of cool like it just replenishes me later on we'll make we'll make a hoe and we'll come through here and we'll kind of flatten the land a little bit now we will get rid of some of the grass we'll pick up wood and uh yeah we'll just get rid of some of it you know Oh, that line is like right there, huh? Maybe we put it too far away. So let me go. Let's uh, let's put that table a little closer to where we're working, huh? Like right here. Maybe that's better. Okay, so this might be a pretty good house. Um, I'm thinking maybe just one more. Might make it really nice, you know, just. Yeah. So that looks pretty good there, I think. Now, it's weird that this is red because it's so close to the ground, I would think that it would... It wouldn't be red, but we'll put uh, these little structures down. This will strengthen it. Strengthen the floors. Make sure all the floors are nice and strong. So now you see they're green instead of red. Red is dead. You do not want red. Now we got green throughout the house. We got blue right up here because blue means it's touching the ground. So that's good. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to put like a little stairway out front. I'm thinking... I like to have something a little bit steeper, but I guess this is about as steep as I'm going to get it. So let's have it right here. That's a nice place for its front door right in the middle. Leaves the side areas kind of open. Um, I want to do it that way. You know what? I'm thinking this is going to be a, our house. And we really need to have a little bit more room. So let's bring it out like one more. We're going to need to get rid of that tree. Go. And there we go. Let's bring out the floors a little bit more. As you know, 
if it's our house, it's got to be gaudy, right? You know, it's got to look like a Viking's house. It's big. Lots of space, you know. Good times. Place to have a party. Lots of people. Not going to be lots of people, though. It's going to be me, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let's get rid of that. that out there kind of strengthen the, the boards there we go now we got a kind of a strong house here now let's start putting the walls up huh so this ultimately uh i want to put like this coming out because i am going to put a big old fire pit there you know i want a ginormous fire pit blazing in my house as my net and my bed sitting next near the fire and after all my long travels and fights and battles uh, throughout the uh the you know throughout the world I come back here and feel relaxed in my bed. Okay, we'll fix that table later, but for now, we'll just leave it like that. Um, ultimately, we'll have to go to the dark forest and get some uh, different types of wood. Really strengthen this house. Just make it just look absolutely breathtaking, you know? I could do a big old double doors, but, you know, I don't want, like, a whole bunch of wind and rain and all that coming in through the house, you know. But just to get a little single door, that way I can keep the house nice and warm and place I can call home. So I'm thinking here, I want to do maybe just half walls, like right here and maybe right right here and then I want to put in just a minor one yeah not too steep of a roof and then I'm gonna put in my roofing here now this again like I said it's gonna keep the uh, smoke to go in the right direction I don't want the smoke to come into my house I'm almost thinking if that needs to be higher, but nah. Nah, you want at least two. And then, uh, let's see, I got my, my fire here, so I'm going to put my fire right here. And another one right there. Now, smoke's all going the right way it should be going. That's good. But just to clarify, that it does go the way I want it. So, you know what? No, I don't like that. Let's put in a full, full one. We don't have enough wood for the full, so we got to go and, uh, you know, timber some more trees, which is fine because we got plenty of trees sitting out here that need to, uh, need to go down. Have a little bite to eat there, you know, where I work, work hard. Oh, you know what? I got all those trees over here. I'll use those trees first. Oops. I didn't mean to do that, but bring that back. There we go. He was that anyways. R? Oh, okay. Come here, you old monkey. There we go. There we go. Get all kinds of wood. All right. We're doing good. We're doing great. This is awesome. Pick up some of that. We're going to probably need some rocks. Eh, we'll need flint. 
need flint for our new axes. And we're not picking up any more wood, so that means we're probably full full of wood. So let's uh, let's go and uh, use that wood we have and keep building our fortress here. Okay, three, and I want to put in probably that and that just to kind of help force that wood, that smoke to go where it needs to go. There we go. All right, now I want to put it on not a high end roof. I just kind of keep it low. Oh, darn it. Got to go and fix our stuff. Our hammer broke. Usually it's our axe that breaks, but nope. Hammer broke this time. Okay, get back in there and keep going. That's starting to get dark. Hopefully we can get our uh, roof up before it gets too dark. Came on this side here, flip it around, put that there. And then I'm going to put on these little ones again. Put the little crisscross on top, you know, just to make it just a, just a salad, you know. Okay, now we got to put in our roof. Turning different colors, but that's okay. Once they connect in the middle, they'll get the strength of all of it going across. There we go. Now what I was thinking was, is we got like, like these big areas over here. Why don't we break these apart? And instead of having that, we'll just put in nice big old windows. That's gonna split it in the center. There we go. That way we can Kind of see the outside, get some nice uh, lighting in, in the house. But we don't have it wide enough that um, we end up getting rain in here. They keep the rain out, keep it nice. Oh, there's a big window there. It's called, we missed our door. <laughs> so it's definitely getting dark now, so we need to. Eh, it's probably all right right there. Probably good there. I can't really see it, but I'm going to guess that's a good spot. Now let's put in some lighting in here and lighten up the place. There we go. Nicely well lit area. Still a little grassy in here, but like I said, once we get our little hoe, we'll be able to come through here and clean this up. So now what we need to do, um, we need to put down a bed, which we don't have enough wood for, so we have to go get some more wood. But at least now what we can do is we can fix our stuff in, in our house, our new house. Go. 
Get some wood going on. There we are. All right. Dang, it's starting to look good now, huh? Take a left of some wood down here. Get rid of this here. We don't need that there anymore. Don't need this really. Enjoy the comforts of home. And so now what I need to do is I need to set up my bed. So let's put up our bed here. We'll put it right here. So it's not in the grass at the moment. And then I'm thinking maybe a chest. Let's put a chest like over here. Maybe a second one to right here. Because we need it for all of our treasures we're going to be getting. Okay, so we can move some of our stuff that we have. Uh, these heads here, uh, the deer trophies, that's what we're going to need for uh, doing the first boss. We're going to probably need like two of them. So uh, let's see here. We'll move that there. This here is like uh, stuff that I picked up along the way. It was uh, and I had to fight some uh, some deer and stuff. I didn't have to fight them, but they're in my way, so they had to go. Okay, so there's my rock. This is all my meat down here. And, uh, yeah, so we got a good inventory. We got things going. We'll claim the bed here. Get some sleep. There we go. You dream of lying in your back in a meadow, gazing upward at the clouds. Your name is nothing. Your mind is free of thought, and there is a warm hands, warm air in your hands. I don't know. I can't read it that fast. <laughs> you have to read it really super fast. It's crazy. All right, so it is day three. It's a beautiful day outside. Um, is it? Is it a beautiful day? Well, I mean, we woke up, so every day is beautiful, right? So yeah, here is our uh, here's our house. There's our house in the in the, uh, in the woods there. So got this guy hanging out here. Come on, dude. I need breakfast. Your breakfast. I I'd, I'd settle for trout, but I think you're gonna be it. All right. So there we are. We got a nice little house going. Things are uh, things are kind of working our way. So yeah, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I think this is a good spot to call it. Uh, thank you very much for coming out and joining us on our uh, on our episode of Valheim. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you're liking the content, please hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I hope to see you on our next one. You take care now and bye-bye.